WTFNN. Headline News Update. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN headquarters in St. Petersburg, Florida, 1 p.m. Eastern time on Wednesday, three hours left to go in the trading day. We got markets in positive territory. S&Ps right now positive by 14 points, trading at 24.19. You got the NASDAQ positive by 25 points, trading at 75.52. The Dow up 152 points, trading at 25,485. Oil, we got EIA this morning, big time build of 6 million plus barrels, bigger, much bigger than they had expected. Oil down $2.14, trading at 51.34. You got gold up $4.10, 13.32. Gold had made it as high as 13.48 early, early in the day. And the dollar index up 190. Six ticks, 97,195. Notes and bonds, pretty tame. The 10 years flat. The 30 year is actually negative 10 ticks at 153.12. We'll start it off. Let's jump over to the futures markets. We'll start it off with the S&P. A little bit of volatility. We reach a low this morning, just prior to about 11 a.m. As Tom and I were wrapping up the program, you had the S&Ps at 2801 quite a run over the last th two hours. From then, 2820, a solid 20 S&P points in the last two hours. Dow 30, a little bit of volatility, pretty similar action. You trade higher from most of the overnight. The market continuing quite the run it had yesterday. The Dow trading 25,501. NASDAQ 100, 7202. Lows at a similar time frame, 7150. So you're talking about a solid 50 NASDAQ 100 points in the last two hours. There's your gold contract, so quite a run overnight. We reached the highs at about 8.30 this morning. 8.30, what else do we get? We get ADP payrolls, quite a miss. 27,000 jobs added versus an estimate of like 175, and that is the smallest number since March of 2010. Quite a number, maybe it'll mean something as to the economy, job growth, and wrapping it up, crude oil. There is your drop at 10.30. We're trading at 52.75, coming into the EIA numbers. We get a big time build. Tom and I were on the air. We dropped from 52.75. By the time we got off the air, we're basically down a buck 50 from those levels at 51.24. Kind of been bouncing around. Did make it as low as $50.63. Cheap oil, we had a gas build as well. Cheap gas prices coming at us. Stay tuned, folks. We got a man, Steve Rhodes, coming up right now at the Trader's Edge. Dave White live at 2 o'clock with the Power Trading Hour, and Tom O'Brien live from 3 till 5. Stay tuned. Steve Rhodes coming up right now.